I have to answer this. Edward says, why are people celebrating the Ukrainian civilians taking up arms, but they didn't support uh, Iraqi civilians uh, doing it when the U.S. evaded? This is the kind of moral equivalency that drives me nuts, that exhibits complete irrationality and a dropping of context. Ukraine is fighting for freedom. Ukraine is fundamentally a free country invaded by a dictatorship that wants to subjugate it, that wants to make it a part of, it wants to conquer it. Iraq was a dictatorship being liberated by a free country whose soldiers, sadly, were being sacrificed, and this is my objection to the Iraq war, being sacrificed to liberate the Iraqis. The Iraqis should have been celebrating the U.S. invasion that got rid of a brutal dictator, a horrific monster by the name of Saddam Hussein. The Ukrainians are being invaded by a horrific monster by the name of Vladimir Putin. To equate the two is not to understand anything about freedom, not to understand anything about dictatorship, not to understand anything about state sovereignty, not to understand anything about what and how motivates people. People who fought against the Americans. Saddam Hussein killed terrorists. Saddam Hussein was a terrorist. He terrorized his own people. He was a monster to his own people. So yes, I'm not sure America should have gone over to kill Saddam Hussein because it was none of our business, but the Iraqi people should have been celebrating the fact that somebody was willing to rid them of the monster. And the fact that they did not indicates that they are collectivistic, tribalistic, and want to be ruled by a dictator. And therefore, they shouldn't be celebrated. Saddam Hussein killed terrorists. Saddam Hussein facilitated terrorism, funded terrorism. He harbored terrorism. There were terrorists in Iraq and Baghdad when the invasion happened. And Iraq was a terrorist state terrorizing its own people, terrorizing its neighbors, terrorizing Israel, terrorizing the West when it saw the opportunities to do so, terrorizing Kuwait. It, it truly, I know I, I get a little upset because it truly is shocking to me that people don't see the difference. And I know it's the same people who like Donald Trump who, who, who couldn't see the difference between America and Putin's Russia who thought they were morally equivalent. This, this idea of moral equivocation all the way is what is destroying the West. And many people who make the moral equivocation think they're fighting for the West. But it's, it's why, again, Donald Trump was not pro-West, and why Donald Trump did not represent America, why Donald Trump was horrible, because he equivocated between Putin and America. He thought it was the same, just like Iraq and Iraq, Ukraine are the same. Everything's the same. No difference. Can't tell differences. There's a valid, legitimate, absolutely positive reason for why we so admire the Ukrainians and why we despised the Iraqis. It's much freer than the Russian government. A, he says, Ukrainian government is not free. It's much freer, and it was overthrown because it was shooting his own citizens. God. It was overthrown legitimately in a legitimate revolution. Again, it's a government that was shooting demonstrators, not freezing their accounts, not putting them in jail, shooting them in the streets. And the response to that was a peaceful revolution that demanded the ouster of the president, which they achieved. So yes, Ukraine is free. The current president of Ukraine was elected in a vote 70%, 70%, 70% of Ukrainians voted for him. Nobody said that Trump was Saddam. Nobody even implied that, not even close. I said Trump was like the people making the moral equivocation because he made the same moral equivocation. So they've learned from Trump that the West is nothing special, that freedom doesn't really matter, that dictators and free people are all the same. 
dictatorships and free people. That's the sense in which I was talking about Trump. I wasn't comparing him to Saddam. All right. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.